Sirach chapter 40, verse 26. Riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. There is no want in the fear of the Lord, and in need if not to seek help. Help. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing. Keep the faith where God's with people here for a bit. Just another quick lesson on um just the fear of the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom, right? Knowledge and understanding, fearing the Lord. So, you know, no matter how strong you are, no matter how rich you are, you know, no matter the success or statue that you have in this earth, put the fear of the Lord before all that, you know, before all that. So rock 40, 26, riches and strength lift up the heart, meaning the mind. It makes you feel good when you're in good health. When you got money, you got money, you're able to pay the bills, you're able to put money on the table, things of that nature. You know, that makes you feel good. It makes you feel some type of way, right? But the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is above them both. So the riches, the strength, the wealth, the health, you put the fear of the Lord before all that, man. All that. It's just there is no want in the fear of the Lord. And you got people out here that ain't even teaching you the fear of the Lord. These pastors in these churches, of course, of course the government is not going to teach you the fear of the Lord. Your community leaders are not even teaching you the fear of the Lord. Look, and the phone had to chime in on that. The phone chimed right on in on that, man. It says it says there is no want to them that fear the Lord. And in need of not to seek help. Just once again, it's a quick lesson. You know? About fearing your how about shim As soon as you wake up, thank the Lord. <laughs> thank the Lord. Sirach chapter 2, verse 8. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shim Yahushai, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. What's that? What's that ultimate reward we Lord willing trying to receive? Deliverance, the kingdom, man. Lord said, if you fear me, your reward shall not fail. In the time of all hell breaking loose, you most definitely gonna want something to eat, something to drink. The Lord remember, you have Bashim Yahusha said, What? My servants shall eat. Alright? My servants shall eat. Let's see. Now, I'm, 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 nothing's rehearsed. Just going through some scriptures. Let's see. Verse, I'm gonna look, I might as well go to verse 9 right quick. So, Rock chapter 2, verse 9. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy, man. Okay? Jump, jump, jumping around. Like Humpty Hump, I'm jumping around. Same book, same chapter. Verse 16, 15, matter of fact, Sirach chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and we rehearse the righteous acts. All throughout the day, you fearing you have, but she all throughout the day, you praising the Lord. And nobody ain't got to see you doing it. You can do it without your mouth moving. While you working, you can be praising the Lord. But most definitely, we, need, we all need to have a healthy um, dose of fear of Yahweh by Shem Shai. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his weight. They that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Remember, you learn how to fear the Lord, you know what I'm saying, by getting into these words. Because no one else is going to teach you to fear the Lord. All right? Remember, no one out there is telling you to fear the Lord. Except for the men of the Lord, the servants of the Lord, right? They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. The things that make you have by Shemel Shai feel good about what you're doing, you do that to the best of your ability. Anything that has something to do with pleasing you have by Shemel Shai, that's what you run to. You don't run from it. 
But two thirds of our people, they're running from the things that are well pleasing until you have a bunch of shots. So, you know, a whooping is coming after that, right? And they that love him shall be filled with the law. Sirach 10, 20. Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So are they that fear the Lord in his eyes, man. That's, that's an honorable thing in the eyes of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Fear. You know. Sirach 34, 13. Also known as Ecclesiasticus. The spirit of those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Now listen, listen real good, Israel. The spirit of those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall live. Can, can you dig that? Can you dig that? Those that fear the Lord shall live. All right? It, the, all rebels, he's going to put all the rebels down. He's going to put all the rebels down. For their hope is in him that saveth them. And the only entity that can save us is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Y'all should know that by now. It said, Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear, nor be afraid. We, we bring out these scriptures. It's all about repetitiveness. We bring out this scripture pretty much once a week at least. If you fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you ain't got to worry about fearing nothing else. And that's a comforting scripture, man. You know, whoso feared Negroes, Latinos, the Native American Indians, because that's the chosen nation on the face of the earth. Everybody's starting to figure that out now, man. All right. And, and if you don't know that, where have you been? Have you been up under a rock? You should know that by now. Whoso feared the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall not fear nor be afraid, especially with everything that's coming. For his hope, for he is his hope, man. Our, our only hope. Is fearing you have by Shem Shai. And, and that's real. And that's real. Psalms chapter 34, verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, ye his saints. And the saints are Israelites. All right? Those who the saints are. And right about now, the elect. Because two thirds are considered heathens, man. So the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, we're part of that number of the saints. Oh, fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, ye saints. And then one, one, one more thing. If you fear the Lord, you're going to constantly be praising those high holy names. Those proper names in the Hebrew tongue, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and Lord Yahweh Shai, His only begotten Son, who you eagerly call Jesus, you're going to be most definitely praising those names. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. You, you see Jake out here, all bugged out, gone through T H R U U U U U. -U. Can you U U U? They gone, man. You see them in the condition that they're in? When you look at them, just know that they didn't fear the Lord. And they still don't fear the Lord, so the Lord had to humble them. The Lord had to humble them, man. You know, Psalms 22, 23, just a quick lesson on fearing the Lord, man. You, you better wake up fearing the Lord. Psalms 22, 23, ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, praise him. We just went into that. Now, how do you praise the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son? By saying their names, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, all ye the seed of Jacob. So the Lord is basically telling Israel, you better praise me. You know, glorify me. Look, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. You know, St. Luke 12, 5, a goody but only. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. The Lord is telling you exactly who we need to fear. Fear him. Which after he have killed, have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. All, all this judgment going on, you know, all this judgment going on, Deuteronomy 10, 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, 
But look, that was the first one. To walk in all his ways, keeping the commandments, rehearsing the righteous acts, and to love him. Look, keeping the commandments, that's what love is. And to serve him, go out there and teach. You know, do these videos. And to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. You know. Let's see. Second Chronicles 19, 7. You done heard these scriptures already, but it's about applying them. And plus, you want to hear these scriptures over and over and over again. You want somebody to keep teaching you these words over and over and over again. The Lord did the same thing. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 7. Wherefore now, let the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. You ain't going to be able to pull out. When judgment comes, you're not going to be able to pull out your black card, you know, or your Mercedes Benz keys or any, anything of value on this side. If you got some gold bars. Boy, I ain't trying to hear all that. You know, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord wants us to, to fear. Let me see if I got anything else. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your house by Shimei Let's see. That, that's, that's pretty much it for right now. You know, I, I read one more Psalms 115, 11. I'm <laughs> pressed for time. I got to roll out. Time to roll out, right? Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Shai trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. So Lord willing, the elect was edified. Fear the Lord throughout the day, in the morning, in the evening, at night. Fear the Lord, Shalom.